What's going on everyone, Austin John Plays here, and today I'm going to be going over the location of the Phantom Armor set and the Barbarian set in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> The reason I'm going over both of these in the same video is because they do the same thing, which is attack up. And they've changed the requirements in order to get the enhancement up. For the Barbarian outfit, you used to have to defeat Lynels to upgrade from level one to level two, but they've changed that to just Mighty Thistle. However, that only gives you a defense of six, and to go from level one to level two, you have to defeat Lynels. However, the Phantom Armor gives you a defense of eight. So at the beginning of the game, before you're ready to defeat Lynels, Phantom Armor is significantly better. Because of that, I'm going to be going over the location of all three pieces of Phantom Armor, followed by all three pieces of Barbarian Armor, followed by the requirements to upgrade the Barbarian Armor since the Phantom Armor cannot be upgraded. Also, please note that I'm talking about the Phantom Armor, talking about like Spirit Tracks Phantom. I'm not talking about the Breath of the Wild Phantom Ganon Armor that has now been relabeled to Evil Spirit Armor. That's going to be for a different video. The first piece of armor that we're going to be going to for the Phantom Armor is going to be located over here at Puffer Beach at the Overhead Cave. I'm just going to be heading south by southwest of the Highland Stable, past the Lake of the Horse God. As you're making your way over here to Puffer Beach, you're going to be coming to this cave, and if you look up, there's going to be a hole in the cave. There's actually two rockets nearby, which is super handy because you need them. So go ahead and attach some rockets to some shields. Line yourself up underneath the hole, but facing northbound, and rocket away. Wow, that was effective. With that little bit of extra height, I'm going to use that opportunity to take out the horriblin over here, and the one that's hiding behind me. You're going to know that you're in the right place because we have the banner showing that we are finding treasure. Ooh, nope, just a flint. And yeah, as soon as you make your way in, it's just right here. Right out in the open. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. And this is our Phantom Helmet. Power of eight, which is pretty fantastic. And there's, what, two Moblins in the way on your way to get here from this one stable? Yeah, definitely recommend. Slightly increasing in difficulty as far as enemies in the area is going to be our second piece of armor, which is here in the East Barrens. You're going to be seeing a whole bunch of these circles over here, which are all individual cave entrances. And we're going to specifically go to this one right here. Apparently there's a shrine here that I need to get. Now, the whole point of this series of caves is supposed to be like a like a big old puzzle of Hey, down one of these is the very specific thing that you need. And you know how I told you to go down that very specific one? Well, that's kind of the solution to this whole area. So if this seems far too easy, now you know exactly why. Once we make our way into the ancient altar ruins, you're going to notice that we just have this altar right here. It's pretty ancient. And that's the Phantom Greaves. The leg set. And the best part is, out of this entire underground area, they decided to put the booble frog in the same room. Oh, come on. Get back here. There we go. Do keep in mind, if you are going for 100% completion, all of these different holes are individual caves and you have to access all of them. Our third and final piece of the Phantom Armor is going to bring us right here to the very end of the Tamiyo River. I'm going to be heading from this shrine just south of Satori Mountain and then heading up this way. One of my favorite ways to get around on foot, if you fuse a cart to a shield, it's like a significantly more effective shield surf. It's essentially a skateboard. This is a skateboard. Alternatively, you could have chosen to, you know, make a boat and go down the entire river. Instead, just here you go. This is where we want to be. The Tamil River Downstream Cave. Now, when you're down here, we're going to be starting off with these two horriblins. Before you head to the left, if you head to the right and go down, here you're going to be able to find your booble frog. Once you make your way over to the left path and you come to the edge, you're going to be seeing gloom hands down below. Now, if this is your first time experiencing gloom hands, they can be very, very scary. So our final destination is straight ahead of us at this altar right here. So right now is a perfect opportunity for you to take out 
a Zonai device, drop it down, and cook yourself up a non-slip elixir. You can use either sticky lizards or sticky frogs, but sticky frogs are a higher quality resource, so I'm just gonna grab three of these bad boys and then a monster part. I'm just gonna grab a Bokoblin horn, which does nothing other than adds 40 seconds to the duration. And that's a level one slip resistance. Having a level one slip resistance is going to make it so instead of being five climbs up and then you fall, I believe it's 12. Using my climbing armor, I'm just gonna glide on over. You just tell them to give me a boost. You slide one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hop up, slide down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Up, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, this is a little bit easier if you have a piece of the froggy armor because you can combine froggy armor along with slip resistance elixirs. But nevertheless, here we are at the altar. That is our third and final piece of phantom armor. Alternatively, you could have gone around the back and then bomb walled this. I would rather use one sticky lizard than, uh, than one bomb flower. That's just me though. And there you go, that is going to be your full set of phantom armor. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go defeat these cause that sub boss has a pretty nice drop. When it comes to the barbarian armor pieces, there are three in the game. One I've already covered, which is another one of Misko's treasures, which is over here at Krenel Hills. This is the entrance to the cave right here. For reference, here's Hylia River and Central Square. Once you head on inside at the center of this large wet area, you're going to be finding a luminous talus which it's optional if you want to defeat that, but it's not required for you to get this piece of armor. Instead, located right up there, that was originally covered by a whole bunch of luminous ore. All you need to do is bomb arrow that, and if we head inside, this is the location of the altar. That was your first piece of barbarian armor. For our next piece of barbarian armor, we're going to need to make our way here to the lower area next to the Robra drop-off. This is right next to the Cliffs of Keens. Right? Keens? Yeah. Cliffs of Keens in between Hatano Village and the Dueling Peaks Tower. You can choose to ride a horse either way. Be careful of the Fort Hatano monster forces if you haven't cleared them out yet. I'm probably just going to be going from, uh, golly, it's between three towers exactly, so any of them I pick isn't going to be great. Once you make your way over to this valley, and I believe that's a blurpy that we can see already, and if you played Breath of the Wild, you probably remember this area as being a place that had a statue and its eyes was glowing late at night. Really? A single rupee? Thanks. Anyways, we're going to follow this blurpy to where he's going, which is going to be this cave right here and the Robra drop-off cave. We're seeing the banner so we know that we're in the right place. This place has sort of a large puzzle that's where these three are facing. Not really much of a puzzle, but anyways, Whichever direction that they're facing is the direction that you're going to want to go down. And when you see these banners, you know you're going the right way. Once you make your way to this room, there's Choo Choo always in the middle. Thanks, Choo Choo. He's not a train. And three of these guys are all facing one direction. We're going to be facing that direction and breaking down this rock wall. After we break our way through, we're going to be seeing more banners. That's how you know you're going the right way. Make your way all the way to the bottom and you're going to be seeing a whole bunch of enemies here. Now, you actually do not need to battle these enemies. This is completely optional if you want to do that or not. I particularly want that boss bow coblin horn. Nice. That was a nice easy GG for us. Let's just go ahead and put this dynamite right here in the middle. Use a fire fruit on it. And once we make our way all the way to the bottom, you're going to be seeing three platforms. One with five, one with one, one with three. From here, you're going to be standing on the platform with three. We're going to use Ascend and go on up. And as long as you're directly in the middle, you're going to be landing right on this platform, right in front of our altar. And there's our Barbarian Helm. Now, before you leave, if you're on the altar with the three, you just want to ascend up once again. And inside of here, we're going to find our Booble Frog. Nice. Our third and final piece of Barbarian Armor is going to actually take us from the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab over here to Walnut Mountain Cave. Walnut Mountain Cave actually has two entrances, one on this side and one is one of these two. I think it's over here next to the shrine. From the tech lab, all we need to do is face toward the east. Look at the small mountain range over here that's almost eye level. Look down, you're gonna be seeing a pond down here 
And then right next to that pond, boom, that's our entrance to our cave. Once you make your way on inside, there's going to be some horriblins, but you actually don't have to engage with any of them. Instead, we're just going to be heading straight forward until you find this one very large stalagmite right in the middle. Once you see that, if you look up to the left, you're going to be seeing a cave up there. I'm going to throw on my climbing gear, get some free choo-choo jellies. Who's mad at that? No one ever. And I froze myself. And if you look at the location of Misko's Manor, it's literally pointing into the cave. Very hard to miss. We're going to be finding our altar with an ice cube. Either make yourself a campfire or equip a fire type weapon such as a fire lazal sword or a ruby on anything, including a shield. Once I expand my shield supply, I'm definitely going to be making those more often. Is the barbarian leg wraps the third piece? Also, if you were to look straight out, off in the distance is going to be our booble frog. If you have a long range bow, you could probably reach it for our booble gem. Now that we've gone over the locations of all six, let's talk about enchanting. The Phantom Greaves cannot be enhanced. You're going to have your stock 24 defense with attack up three, but that should hold you over until you're able to upgrade your Barbarian Armor. Now for level one is very affordable and it's just Mighty Thistle. However, level two requires that you defeat Lynels and you get yourself Lynel Saber Horns and Lynel Mace Horns, two of each, as well as five Razor Shrooms. But then for level three, you need blue maned Lionel Saber Horns, three of them, and blue maned Lionel Mace Horns, three of them, as well as Razor Claw Crab. Level one just requires three Mighty Thistle, which is a laughably small number. This used to be the Hardy Durian Farm. I'm, I think it's one of these areas. I think it's this area right here, or maybe the one below it. There's a whole bunch of Mighty Thistle, like, all in a row. So check this region, especially with Sensor Plus. Level two is gonna go ahead and require the Lionel Saber Horns and Mace Horns, as well as Razor Shrooms. Oh, I need some of those. So let's just go ahead and use our camera to take a picture of a Razor Shroom. That way we're gonna be able to search it on our Sensor Plus. I'm gonna start by checking the places that I knew that they used to be, including over here at the Minishi Woods. And thank you, Sensor, for letting me know that I was right to come back here. As it stands for right now, farming objects in this game is not as easy as it used to be in Breath of the Wild. Things are much more spread out. You don't have enormous congregations of items anymore. Huh, there's just two chilling here at the Woodland Stable. That's nice. Watch, it turns out like there's one of these caves somewhere that's like amazing for very specific types of mushrooms. I just have no idea what they are yet. Once there's better farming for specific items, I'll definitely put out a video on that. Turns out that there's a bunch over here at the military training camp, like all underneath walkways and stuff. So that's neat. You're going to be able to find some Razor Claw Crab along this north line for Lanayru Bay, just south of Mount Lanayru. Perfect. That's all the Razor Shrooms and Lionel Horns that we need. Now, when it comes to actually defeating Lionels and getting Lionel parts, there's sort of a, a gauntlet to go through on how to get better and better weapons. And I'm going to be putting out a video in three hours on exactly how to do that. So if you know how to take down Lynels right now, great. If you want to know how to get extremely powerful weapons, I'm talking 174 weapons, then that video is going to be for you. Uh, card in the top right corner if it's released. Boop. Well, great. Thank you so much for being here on how to get the Phantom Armor and the Barbarian Armor in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you found this information helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.